Welcome back to the Boot Tragedies. Today we're going to talk about players with something to prove, even if it's a little bit, for the Saints this year. But first, can you take a second to click those links in the description, man, so you can follow the Twitter page, follow the Twitch channel, and join the Discord. I will try to keep these short and sweet, and we're going to start off with no other than Elvin Kamara. Now let's, let's get a caveat out here. Obviously, Elvin Kamara really doesn't have anything to prove, but... Coming off a down year with the O-line being hurt, with the all-season troubles he's had, I do think he want to just get in, get back to football, and prove you know, to everybody that I'm still a, the best back in the league. I've always called him the best back in the league. Honestly, if I take my bias out of it, he's not that right now. That's probably Derrick Henry. But he can easily regain that title, man. He's so versatile. The offensive line's going to be okay this year. We finally have weapons around him uh, at receiver, so teams can't stack the box and key in on him. So I'm expecting a big year from Elvin Kamara, and I'm, I'm sure he's going to come into training camp with something to prove. Next up on the list, I'm going to go Deontay Hardy. Uh, obviously, he had a breakout season at receiver for him. He got some more reps at that position, but... His return skills, not skills, but his return numbers dropped a little bit. I expect him to have something to prove, man. His first year in the league, he was all pro as a returner, pro bowler, all of that good jazz uh, last year. Had a down year. Return numbers were down on punt return and kick return. Really never got loose. Didn't have a touchdown. I think Deontay Hardy's going to need a bounce back year there. Obviously, the Saints drafted Rashid Shaheed. Uh, Deontay Hardy shouldn't be, you know, nervous about that. But he does have something to prove, and he's in a contract year. Contract year, you know players love to prove things. And if he wants that big payday at receiver slash kick returner, he has to prove it this year. Next up is Michael Thomas. I think he's the most obvious player in this whole scenario of you no know, players with something to prove, being hurt the last two seasons, missing the entire last season. You know Michael Thomas is going to have something to prove, man. They're playing with his name. They're not calling him one of the best receivers in the NFL. You know Michael Thomas has an ego, and there's nothing wrong with that. All of the top receivers have an ego. And I know he's going to have something to prove this year, not just to himself, but to the fans, to the Saints organization, to the NFL, to everybody, man. He hasn't played in a while. People have forgotten about him. Saints ha fans, we haven't just because our receiving core has been such a terrible mess uh, since he's been injured. So I know he's going to have it on his mind. He's definitely going to want to prove something, man. I'm expecting big things from him. I've already mentioned the high price tag that he carries, especially for the next two years. So if he wants to you know, earn that money and keep that money, I do think that he's going to have to produce at a very, very high level. Uh, Dennis Allen, Mickey Loomis, they both seem to be confident in his ability to, you know, to be on the field very, very soon. So we'll see what's in store for Michael Thomas this year. Next up is quarterback one, Jameis Winston. Basically, he has something to prove this year just because the Saints have finally put the weapons around him. Last year, he had something to prove, but the Saints did not help him in any shape or form or fashion, in my opinion. This year, it's almost like we've run out of excuses, not just for him, but for the organization, man, this past game uh, in itself. So Michael Thomas, Jarvis Landry, Chris Olave, Deontay Hardy, Marquez Calloway, um, Alvin Kamara, Troutman, Jawan Johnson, Taysom Hill. That's a lot of weapons for a quarterback, for an offensive system. So we're going to have to produce. We shouldn't be out there, you know, throwing for 110 yards a game and things like that. We should be able to spread the ball around, get everybody involved. I think Jameis Winston is capable, but I do think he's going to have to prove it. Last year he was off to a great start with Sean Payton uh, kind of hindering him. So this year hopefully they just unleash him, let him go, let him sink or let him swim. He's 30 years old, just about. Let him sink or let him swim, and we'll see what happens. Believe it or not, this next guy, Ty Matthew, I do think he has something to prove for the Saints this season. Um, if you ask any Chiefs fan if they get the salt out their heart, they're going to tell you he wasn't the same guy he was a couple years ago, and that's okay. We're not expecting him to be the same guy. He's about, what, eight, nine years in the league? I'm just guessing off the top of my head. It's been a while, so I'm not expecting the guy that came out of LSU, you know, went to the Heisman ceremony to show up. I am expecting a smart football player, a tough football player, a guy guy that has leadership, but a guy that's still really, really good, man. He might not be in the peak of his career, but he still needs to be one of the best safeties, nickels, whatever the Saints going to play him at in the NFL. Do I, so I do think he has something to prove, man. Coming back home, that's not an easy thing to do, especially when so many people have a high expectations for you and you have high expectations for yourself. Uh, so we'll see what time Matthew do. I do think he'll have a good year, but I do think he has something to prove. His first year back home, his first year with the Saints, and we'll see what happens. Next up on the list is Andres Pete former first-round tackle out of Stanford. Uh, we've played him at left tackle, right tackle, left guard, right guard. He's played everywhere but center. Uh, he's finally got a position at left guard. Uh, and he has to show up this year, man. He's going to be an integral part of this Saints offensive line. Believe it or not, he's the longest-tenured offensive lineman on the Saints, man. He's been there longer than Ramchick, then Ruiz, McCoy, obviously Penning and Hurst. So he's the veteran of this group. 
He's going to have to step up his leadership, even though we know Ramchek is going to be the leader of this group. But Pete's going to have to step up, man. It was always Ramchek and Ormstead. Somebody has to fill that void, and it's going to have to be Andres Pete. So I'm not even talking about as a play standpoint. We know his play is going to have to be where it, where it needs to be. But as a leader, a uh, vocal leader, he's going to have to take on that role, man. Whether he likes it or not, he's the longest tenure guy in that group, and I'm expecting a lot from him this year. Next up, Mr. Caesar. Everyone knew Ruiz was going to make this list. I'm going to try to be patient. I'm going to try to be calm. I'm not going to, you know, go off on Ruiz. He hasn't done anything yet, but he has to be at least average this year. That's like such a low standard that I'm trying to give him. He just needs to be an average guard in the NFL. He just doesn't need them breakdowns. He doesn't need the missed players. He has the most, the absolute most to prove on this Saints team, man. Coming uh, coming as a first-round pick out of Michigan, we did switch his position from center to guard. But, hey, it's your three. We can't keep using that as an excuse. Then he said, you know, uh, Mickey Loomis and Dennis Allen both said, you know, obviously he didn't get the full off-season camps because of uh, the switching positions uh, and because of the COVID year and things like that. So it's been a lot of excuses for him, and maybe they're true. But he has to show up this year. It's no excuse. He's had a full off-season. He's been healthy. He knows what position he's playing. It's literally no excuse for him to come to training camp and not be a better player than he was the last two seasons. He's on the verge of being called a bust. I don't really like to call, you know, guys bust just because, man, things can go different, um, you know, depending on where you're drafted and things. But this guy, would he would he would fit that bill. But, man, hopefully Cesar Ruiz, you know, improves this year. I do have faith in him, man. Look, the Saints have drafted well. We, we've had a lot of misses, but we do have a lot of hits. So, obviously, the talent was there. People had him going early, early second round, late first. The Saints were the team to draft him. Hopefully, he gets it together. Uh, and we'll see what happens, man. But we need him to have a good year. We really, really need him to have a good year. If he can just be solid next to Ramchick and McCoy, like, it, it just can make the offensive line so much better. So, we'll see what happens. But... He has to be better this year. Last but not least, it will be the coaching staff. Dennis Allen and Pete Carmichael, I do think they're both going to have something to prove this year. Obviously, Dennis Allen has been a previous head coach in the NFL. His stint with the Raiders didn't go well. We know the Raiders were bad, but he's going to have something to prove, man. He has a good team around him. Uh, credit to him for doing it in the offseason, him and Mickey Loomis, but this team is better than the maybe the last two teams or three teams You know, the Saints have had um, since about 2019. This has been the best team we've had on paper so he's going to have to prove that he can do it also with Pete Carmichael this is going to be the best offense the Saints have had since I know since 2018 a lot of weapons on this offense man a lot of things Pete Carmichael can do and he's going to have to have something to prove obviously being under Sean Payton for all of this time um you know he called the plays the one year Sean Payton was out for the season when he got suspended uh he called some plays when Sean Payton was out with the COVID and things like that now nah, he's going to have the job you know, full-time, and he's going to have to earn his spot in the NFL, man. We know you've been here for a long time, but now let's see what you can do when Sean Payton's not there, and let's just see what happens, man. Hopefully he calls a good, you know, um, some good game plans this year, and we'll, we'll see, man. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. I know he knows a lot. He's learned a lot, and now it's his time to shine. Let me know in the comments below who do y'all think has, you know, the most to prove this year or just something to prove, uh, you know, guys that I forgot, coaches that I forgot, or anything like that. As always, just the boot tragedies, and I'm out.